Can you start speaking now, please? One of my favorite TV shows for a long time has been The Simpsons. It's very famous, but I'll describe it anyway. It's a cartoon sitcom about an ordinary family in an ordinary town in the USA. There's a large cast of other characters, and sometimes famous people play themselves. It's been running for more than 20 years, and it's one of the most popular TV programs in the world. I sometimes watch it on regular TV, which is dubbed. At the moment, it's on Sunday evenings. I don't enjoy that so much, partly because I think the dubbed version isn't quite as funny as the original version, and partly because they only show old episodes, and I've seen most of them before. Last year we got satellite TV, and we get a channel which shows the original English version. I much prefer that. It's quite fast, and I find it quite difficult to follow, but I usually watch it with subtitles in English, which helps. I sometimes record it and watch it again, and the second time I can usually understand it a lot more easily. The reason I like it is simple. It makes me laugh. <laughs> the humor is very fast and it seems a little more sophisticated than most sitcoms. There are lots of little extra jokes which are easy to miss, but which you notice the second time you watch it. Some people say it isn't as funny as it used to be, but I disagree. I think it's as good as it's ever been. How much TV do you watch? It depends. In the winter, I watch quite a lot, maybe 15, 20 hours a week. But in the summer, I watch a lot less. I prefer to be outside with my family or friends. We've been talking about television. I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions relating to this. Let's talk about the news on TV and from other sources. How important do you think it is to keep up to date with news and current events? I think it's very important to know what's happening in your country and in the world. Having said that, I don't actually follow the news carefully every day. I think it's essential to keep up to date with major events, but I don't think it's necessary to follow the details of every news story. At least it isn't for me. I just follow the main stories. In your opinion, what's the best source of news? TV, newspapers, the internet, or something else? Well, I mostly watch the news on TV, but I think newspapers are probably the best source. They go into much more detail than TV news, and there's more variety. They cover a much wider range of stories. I'm not sure about the internet for news. It's very convenient to be able to check the news any time you want, but I'm not sure that all news sites are very good quality. On some of them, there seem to be a lot of stories about celebrities and not so much about serious topics and events. Let's talk about other types of reporting now. Documentary films for the cinema seldom attract large audiences, why do you think this is? I suppose they're just not as entertaining as fictional films. They may be exciting for people who have a special interest in the subject, but apart from that, they tend not to have a lot of appeal. On the other hand, a good fictional film can be entertaining for almost everybody. When people go to the cinema, mostly they want to be entertained rather than educated. 
some people feel there should be more serious documentaries and dramas on TV and in the cinema. Do you agree or disagree with this? I don't really know if I agree or disagree. Of course, it would be good to see more serious TV programs and films, but I'm not sure it's a good idea to try to control what kind of things get made. TV companies and film producers make what they think people want to see. I can't imagine them making things people don't want to see just because somebody tells them to. What do you think could be done to promote more serious types of TV program and cinema film? In my country, we have one arts channel which is owned by the government. It shows documentaries and films that probably wouldn't get shown on more popular channels. I think film festivals are a good idea too. They generate a lot of interest in smaller films and independent producers. Many of those films are documentaries and serious dramas.